Hello, it's Doris Sander with Coco Daisy, and I have my Dune flip through ready already. I'm so impressed with myself. And I can make shadow puppets today because we're having an awesome rainstorm, so the lighting is a little low. Hopefully it'll be okay. So my cover, I could not resist the flamingos, obviously, and then I left the back blank this month my June sticker and packing tape to keep the edge of the card down. Um, and then this is the cover cover of the personal planner and I was using it as an exercise tracker and I was pretty pleased with myself. I had that beginning of the month motivation and then um, yeah. I mean I did do a lot of walking on vacation so that is good. I'll do better this month. And then um, my June calendar, we had a few dates and then um, State Park Week and Colorado Utah Week. So that was a busy, fun, awesome month. My happiness log, good job, my monthly goals, um, eh, halfway there, good job, good job. <laughs> You'll be seeing a couple of these resurrected in July. And then I kept a list of the books that I was reading in June. I was trying to hit 30 and I made it to 15. I got to put one more in, which 15 is pretty darn good, I must say. Um, here I made a mistake and I wrote something that I meant to write here here I wasn't paying attention so I just covered it up with an Avery label and a couple stickers so it's all good and um, this page was a good one for summer I try to do fun things with my son not every day but this helps me make sure that I'm doing it often so we did a lot of stuff this month it was a good one so I'm doing this again for July and then my booktube and YouTube video list. I used to color in when I recorded and uploaded and then put it on Instagram and Facebook, but I found I don't need to do that anymore. So in July, I didn't put this section. I just am writing the events. And these are my ideas. So I put them on sticky notes so that, that I could check them off and write them on the calendar because again I like to pace myself like this wasn't a very good video month for me um I like to get a little more I like to, I would like to have like 10 videos on each channel per month but I'm doing a lot better so far in July so I'm pleased this is my little scrapbook with me page that I posted earlier in the month this is part of our state park week these are just some lists of things that I wanted to do. So like people I want to see, um, things I want to do this summer, and then housework that hasn't been done per usual. This was trip planning, so things I needed to do before I left, and things I needed to buy before I left. And I got distracted with the actual packing and quit using this, but it's still a record of how the month went. And then more scrapbooking. So these are just pictures. You're going to see a lot of kitty pictures in this month because we got a new kitten and that's, you know, journal worthy. So this was his first day with us, precious little guy. And you'll see all the photos in the rest of the book. I have matted in this Polaroid style with a little border and then a little more at the bottom. It's just a cute look and it made it look consistent throughout the book. Uh, this is another scrapbook with me. I just, I think I uploaded this a day or two ago, so you can watch that one. Um, more just random photos, mostly of the kitten, and more of the Polaroid style photo mats. And then these are just little die cuts from the kit. Then this one, I like the way this turned out. Um, this is just a photo I took at the park. We, the boys went swimming. And then this is just a piece of paper from last month's kit. 
and I just like the way it looks scattered on the page like that. And then over here, this is so clever. I think I saved this um, Day in the Life card from maybe two months ago. And then my son is just obsessively been watching The Office. So I printed this out and cut it down to size to fit on the TV. He's going to get a kick out of that when he sees it. <laughs> and then more just random journaling of kitty photos with the Polaroid matting. And then this is interesting. So I got out of school the end of May around the 26th or so. And the first week of June, I tried to do my normal um, planning style with the little squares and, you know, my, my morning, lunch, uh, afternoon, evening kind of planning and to-do lists. And you can see that I wasn't into planning much. I mean, I was on vacation, so, yeah. So, yeah, I just kind of fell off the wagon. I put some bits of ephemera and cute things, but... I really only got two good days of planning that week. So, the next week, I decided to just do this freeform planning. And it's more just a little bit of planning and event writing and then um, decorating with journaling of what happened that day and cute things and such. And then on the weekend, I did make this massive to-do list because I needed to get caught up from being lazy throughout the week and I did need to do a few things <laughs> and then the week after I decided to go with that idea and journal every day in these pages and then use one of these pages from the personal planner to put my events and things on so that worked out nicely I thought it was pretty cute um, I kept up with this journaling for three days and then didn't do as well this day but it was still good I like the way that looks. And then this week we were actually on our big vacation to Salt Lake City and Colorado. And I had a separate travel journal so I didn't really want to journal in here. And I didn't have any plans really because I'd written that down previously. So what I decided to do, which is something I like to keep up with on trips, is I wrote down what we spent every day. So I kept that up. This was a really nice place to keep up with that information. And I had meant to go back and color code each thing like um, meals, um, travel expenses, hotel expenses, and souvenirs. And then put totals for those four categories up here. But I decided I didn't really want to know in the end. <laughs> That's just a random photo that... I accidentally printed two of, so I stuck it in there. And then finishing up with our trip and the trip expenses. And then, of course, the day back, there were a lot of things I needed to get done. And then more just like event journaling over here. We went to the water park. And then a random photo of my flower garden. And yeah, and then the last couple pages... Um, a little coaster a friend gave me. We're loving looking at the fireflies and more kitty pictures with my son and his friend. And I left this one blank because I'm going to make my son do a little journaling there. I think that'll be fun, but he's not home to do that. So I'll get him to do that when he gets home. And there's the back page with my little notepad and extra sticky notes. So June was a great month. I hope I, I still have two to catch up on. And hopefully get those posted this week. And then keep up with July. Get back in my groove. So thanks for watching. And I will be back soon. Bye.